Hey guys, Mr. Mitchell here. Welcome to the fifth of six videos where we look at the key definitions that you need to know for the advanced higher physics exam. In this video, we cover the definitions for the quanta topic, and I'd recommend that you make your own flashcards from these definitions. You can do this by writing down the word or term on one side of your flashcard and the definition or meaning on the other side. So let's get into it. Our first definition is the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle, and this says that it is not possible to know the position and the momentum of a quantum particle simultaneously. So simultaneously, remember, just means at the same time. Another way of saying this is that you can only precisely know either the position or the momentum of a quantum particle at any one time. As well as position and momentum, we can also define the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle in terms of the energy change and lifetime of a quantum particle. And this says that it is not possible to know the lifetime of a quantum particle and the associated energy change simultaneously. So again, at any one time, we can only precisely measure one of these things. Next we have cosmic rays, and these are energetic subatomic particles which arrive in the Earth's atmosphere from outer space. They are made up from 89% protons, 9% alpha particles, 1% carbon, oxygen and nitrogen nuclei, and the rest electrons and gamma rays. Moving on we have the solar wind, and this is a stream of charged particles which escape from the upper atmosphere of the Sun. It flows outwards as a plasma at great speed and consists mainly of electrons, protons and alpha particles. Next we have simple harmonic motion, otherwise known as SHM, and this is when an object oscillates with a repeated motion under the influence of an unbalanced force, i.e. a restoring force, which always acts towards the equilibrium position, i.e. the rest position. The magnitude of the unbalanced force, and therefore the acceleration, is proportional to the object's displacement, but in the opposite direction. So if you're asked to define or explain simple harmonic motion, you need to state these two parts of the definition. You need to talk about this repeated motion or oscillating motion due to the unbalanced force, and you also need to mention the unbalanced force or acceleration being proportional to the object's displacement. Lastly, related to simple harmonic motion is the concept of damping, and this is when an oscillating system loses energy to frictional forces such as air resistance and eventually comes to rest. We say that the amplitude of the motion decreases to zero because energy is lost from the system, i.e. it changes to other forms. And an example of damping in everyday life would be a car suspension system, which if a car was to go over a speed bump for example, the oscillations will continue until the car suspension system damps those oscillations. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching, if you made it to the end I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.